probably. <laughs> we played together a lot, and uh, I don't think I'm far off. Next guess uh, is no stranger to uh, to so many people across Canada. And I just, I have uh, Shawnee Harley's Winning Matters uh, biography here, but I'm only going to read you the first paragraph because I think this, I think this is, sets the table pretty well. Shawnee is a two-time Olympian as an assistant coach for the Canadian women's team and is the most highly certified coach in Canada. I'm going to read that sentence again. Shawnee is the most highly certified coach in the nation of Canada. She has 26 years of elite coaching and leadership experience, including the Olympic Games, World Championships, FIBA Americas, and the World University Games. Other than that, Shawnee doesn't do much with her time. So she is just, uh, just outstanding. We had the privilege of working with Shawnee for several years with the Alberta Basketball Association in coaching development. She has touched countless athletes' lives, families' lives. She works really comfortably in the corporate and business sectors. And we're just so pleased on Hope Through Hoops to have Shawnee Harley. Shawnee. Well, let's see if I can figure out how to share my screen as, uh, as step one. But it says, Hope, the host has disabled participant screen sharing. So if someone can let me in, that would be truly wonderful. In the meantime, you just have to sit here and look at me. Try it again, still not quite there. I think people are working on it in the background though. That's my, that's my feeling. How are we doing people? You're share, oh, it says I'm sharing my screen already? Really? Hmm. What you got, Paul? Um, I see a lot of very lovely faces right now, but I do not see your screen, oh, Johnny. Okay, somebody worked their magic. There we in go. The background. Thank you, whoever that magician. We have more than one magician on the show tonight. Hey, my name's Shawnee and my business is Winning Matters. And here's what's cool about winning tonight. We're going to win with hope. What a great game to be playing, the game of hope. This is here's what I believe about hope. I believe it is a choice. Think about that for a moment, people. Hope is a choice. We can choose to be hopeful. That means we can go towards the lightning and we can choose to be unhopeful. And you're gonna say, oh, come on. It's not that easy, is it? Well, it's simple, but what I've learned is most things in life that are simple, they are definitely not easy. So I'm going to give you some ideas about how to make it easier. I want to begin with thinking about our thoughts. I just find this absolutely fascinating. Do you know that we have up to 60,000 thoughts a day? 60,000! Can you? 60,000. It, it's so many. Did you know 80% are negative? And 95% are repetitive. So we continue to think about the same negative things over and over and over. Well, if we have 60,000 thoughts, what are you doing with them? Are you choosing hopeful thoughts? Or are you settling for unhopeful thoughts because we're in COVID right now? There can't be that much hope out there. Well, I'll tell you what, I've, I work with hundreds of athletes and I'm really tired of the group think. And the group think, this is what I hear athletes saying. I'm only gonna give you three little bullet points because I only have a short time. I'm losing my fitness. I'm so sick and tired of team Zoom calls. Here's a good one. If I have to go down to the basement one more time and practice my dribbling drills, and I hear this group think, 
about how bad it is, how terrible it is, how unfair it is. Well, what about leading the way? What about jumping out of that goldfish bowl? What about thinking, you know what, there's lots of ways that I can stay fit. I might not like them, but I do need to be creative. I do need to be disciplined. Heck yeah, you need to be disciplined. Self-discipline is one of the foundations of mental toughness. For Zoom, you could say, you know what, I don't like it. I'm really sick of looking at my teammates, but it's the best way to connect. For now, for now means this is temporary. And mental toughness says anything that's temporary, we can manage it because we know it will come to an end. If you don't think those dribbling drills are going to pay off in the basement, you're wrong. Anytime you're investing in yourself, in your game, there is always a payoff. So choose hope. Take that no hope sign out of there. How do you choose hope? You choose your thoughts. You have 60,000 of them. Why don't you have some say over that? Choose them. Choose as many of them as you can. How do you do that? I'm going to give you an acronym. The acronym is WAIT. And it stands for what am I thinking? Here's what I love about that acronym. WAIT means wait, pause, stop, chill. Take a deep breath. Think about what you're thinking about because you're having 60,000 thoughts, what would happen if you actually started thinking about what you're thinking about? And then what do you, what's next? I have a simple formula, two steps, people. You can remember two steps. Here's the first one. Wait, I just told you what it is. Pause, ask yourself, what am I thinking right now? And notice, are you having a no hope thought, a negative Nelly thought. Oh, do I have to go down to the basement again? I'm so sick and tired of Zoom calls. When you notice that, here's the most important part of the formula, choose. What a gift to be able to choose. You can choose a hopeful thought. There's a million hopeful thoughts out there, just waiting for you to grab onto them. You're going to have 60,000 thoughts a day. Why not choose hopeful ones? So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is this challenge. Set a daily reminder. It could be once a day, it could be three times a day. It could be once an hour. It's totally your call. When that reminder goes off, stop, wait, and ask yourself, what am I thinking right now? Think about what you're thinking about because you're having 60,000 thoughts. Pay attention to them. Are you having a no hope thought? Step two choose. There I am in this no hope thought. What else can I do? What else can I think about? I can choose a hopeful thought. That is your mission. If you choose to accept it, that starts first thing tomorrow morning. And if you're really keen, it starts tonight. And let me know that you're here. Let me know that you're listening. Uh, tell me who you are, where you are. I can, hear, I can hear some background noise, but I get to choose my thoughts about that, don't I? I can say, this is hopeless, or I can say, you know what? Let's just carry on. I'm going to choose hope. I want you to consider this saying, be, do, have. What does that mean? It means be willing to do what it takes to have what you want. So my question for you, what do you want? Do you want hope or do you want no hope? You have the power. Choose hope.
I'm done, Paul. Thank you very much, Shawnee. You know, I, I, I've been excited about this evening, but geez, I've got to introduce one more. I'm so sorry.